Hi, and thank you so much for purchasing a 4th Street Creative template. This is the video walkthrough for the Rosedale IG Stories templates. So when you first get your thank you document, you're going to be directed to a link that directs you to this page, and you're just going to want to hit Use Template, which will bring the templates directly into your own Canva account. And once you're here, the first step is to head over to the file, and make a copy. And the reason why you want to do that is because if you happen to take a few left turns or you've just completely deviated from the look that you want or not really happy with the direction that you're taking, then you can always head back over to your home page in Canva and get that original document and start from scratch. Rather than having to go to Etsy and re-download and everything again, you have that master file to just go back to and start again at any time that you want. Um, so again, file, make a copy, first step. Once you've done that, the next step is to head over to Uploads and upload your listing photos. Those will upload directly into your Canva account here. And then you can get started and just change all of the, all of the information and all of the templates to suit your needs, your brand needs, your listing needs, whatever it is that you're using these for. So for the purpose of this walkthrough, we're going to assume that you're using them for your listing. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and start. So I'm going to say the first thing you want to do is change the photos. And if you head over to one of these boxes and it's not popping into place, I'm going to show you why. Because sometimes these boxes have been locked and I'm going to explain why we lock those as well. But if, they, if you ever do find that one of these image boxes has been locked, you head over to the lock icon up here and you click it to unlock that image and then when you bring your photo, you hover your photo over the image box, it'll pop into place. Now I'm not really happy with how this is looking in this box, so I'm going to double click that and just move it over so I can see more of the room. Okay, and then once I'm happy with this, I'm going to lock it into place. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because if I don't, and I have, a, this is an image file as well, if I have another image file, and I try to move it around in the image to find the best spot for it. As you can see, it's knocking out the image that's behind it. It's trying to take over that image box, which can be a little bit annoying when you're trying to design. So I always suggest that when you're happy with the image placement, you lock it, and that way, when you bring in another element, you can drag it anywhere on the photo without it affecting the image in the back. So it's a great little Canva tip that saved me a lot of time. Once you're happy with image placement, you can change all of the listing information. So if this isn't a new listing, if you want to say just listed or just sold or exclusive, open house, whatever it is that you want to put there, you can. You can also change the font itself. So if you have your own brand fonts or fonts that you like to use, and this is not one of them, you can go over to the font box and just have your pick. There are countless fonts that you can use here. Um, the same goes for this listing address. You can change it to your own, of course. And if your listing address is longer than, let's say your listing address is long. I'm just going to drag that out. So your listing address is this long. Well, this um, overlay here now is too long so you're just going to drag the edge of that box and now it fits. If you want to change the color it's the same thing you would just highlight the text and head over to this icon up here and change the color to either your brand colors if that's what you're using or you can also complement the listing by grabbing colors within the photo itself. So if you have a home that has a lot of grays and whites, you might want to use a gray font rather than the blue that was provided. If you do have brand colors, I would always suggest to use those. Okay, but for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to keep it blue. Okay, same goes for, for this. This is the same as the first one. You would just change the photos, you change the text, you change the color. Uh, you can change this line. So this is a great opportunity to talk about the overlays. We've included a few overlays for you to use and one of them is a line. We've provided a blue line and a white line. If you ever need to change the color of these because they are an image file, you will have to do it in a program like Photoshop or Illustrator. But we have provided a dark option and a light option. Um, so you should be covered there. If you want to change this 
modern and chic to something that's more in line with your listing, this is where you would do it. Double click, highlight the text, and type in your own. Great name. Typed it, I've typed in great house, and you can't read the house aspect of it because it's the same color as this overlay here. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the house part, and we're going to change that to a white to write white writing. Okay, and then I'm going to move this box a little bit over. And that's how you would do that. Now there is a transparency applied to this, and that's why you'll see that it's a little bit lighter than the overlay here, even though it's the same color. So if I remove the transparency on this and bring it up to 100, you'll see now that it's the same color as the box behind it here but I wanted it to be a little bit more subtle, which is why I brought it down to 50%. Put it back to 50. I can show you. It's just so it doesn't grab the attention away from the photos. The, the, the attention's still on the photos. This is just extra information and visual appeal. Uh, on this particular slide, you would change the real story to anything that matches your brand, your needs. Maybe you want to put the listing property information. This is where you would do it details as well. Obviously, you would want to change that to fit your listing needs. Behind the scenes can be changed to open house. Uh, this was just a cute way of saying let's peek behind the scenes this weekend and show you what's going on. Um, and of course, you would change, you can change any of this text to suit your needs as well. We've also provided two brand slides and we call them brand slides because they're, they're more about um, promoting different aspects of your brand rather than just real estate. So we've provided one that's a quotable and you can put any quote that you want here, inspirational quotes or, um, or testimonials or anything that you'd like that's not directly a just listed or just sold, just to add a little bit more dimension to your feed. You can also add like a top five here or you know something that has that's, that's an offshoot of real estate but not directly related to the listing that you might have. Uh, these are image files, so this is not something that you can click and edit as you would a text file. Um, so we've also provided these in the file folder, and you can upload them into Canva, and it'll look like this. Put a bunch of those down. It'll look like this here, and then you just bring it into your document. You put it wherever you'd like and you can adjust the transparency like I did to just make sure that it doesn't stand out too much. And that's that. I'm gonna delete that and use the one that's already on this file. Uh, the same, this is the same thing, same, same goes for the slide as everything else. You can highlight this, change the, the color, change the font. Again, if I wanna change the length of the line, I'm just gonna drag the box. I'm not gonna drag the line, I'm gonna drag the box to change the length. If I wanna, let's say I wanted to take this box and say, you know what, I want this to cover the entirety of the, of the template. Well, now this line no longer works. I'm gonna to wanna to use this white overlay line. So I'm going to click it once, it'll bring it into the file, and I'm gonna place it where I'd like sure that the line behind it is deleted. Bring this to where I'd like it to be. Change the font, double click, make sure the, all the fonts selected. Change it to a lighter color. Maybe now I'd like to increase the size of this box a bit. That's how I would do that, just by dragging the size of the box. And that's how you would change it if you wanted to change something like the, the background color. Just changing the elements is very easy. You just make sure the element is highlighted and you can drag the sides however you'd like. Um, same goes for this one, same idea. And here we have icons. So these are optional icons that we've provided. They're not provided on every single slide in this particular uh, template, they are on one slide. And because these are stories, what you can do is you can save this document and bring it into Instagram and then add stickers to promote engagement and your own writing on the templates right in Instagram. So you can play around with these a lot more than you could with posts or any other 
template that we might provide. So in that, because of that, we've provided this large area here that you can do with whatever you'd like. So if you don't want these icons, you can export like this. And then in when you import it into Instagram, this is where you'd have the fun with the stickers, with your description, with animated um, icons. You can do all of that in this area. You can also do it in this area. You can do it right on top of the images. You can forget about writing the quote in here and actually write it in Instagram. Um, and it just provides a little bit more. You can add your hashtags and your geotags here in Instagram. And it just adds a little bit more interactive um, pizzazz to these templates. So that's something to consider. But if you do want to add, let's say, to this, this one right here. Let's say let's use this one for an example. And if you do want to add these little icons, they are provided in your in your files. So all you have to do is upload them to Canva. They'll be they'll look exactly like this in Canva. And you click on them once to bring them into your document. You resize them to however size you like them to be, and you can place them anywhere on your document. We're, again, remember this needs to be locked. If it's not, and I try to bring one of these in. As soon as I start moving it around, it'll try to knock out the image. So let's make sure, just for the sake of our sanity, to highlight this, lock it in place, and then start putting icons on top of the image. And you can just do that. Okay, so let's say I just want to tell them the number of beds and baths. I put these two icons into the place that I'd like. And now I need to add a text box. So in order to do that, I'm just going to hit T, the letter T as in text on my keyboard, and it'll bring up a text box. And then I'm going to type how many bedrooms there are. Make sure to change that to a white font. Drag it down here. Okay, and I think that's a little bit too big. So I'm going to change the font size to about 18. That looks okay to me. And then I'm going to hit Command C on my keyboard and Command V as in Victor on my keyboard to copy it. Now, if that's too complicated, make sure this is highlighted and go to Duplicate and it'll do the exact same thing. And you can just move it over. Okay. So there's two bedrooms, two bathrooms in this home. And that's how I would add the icons to my slides. Okay, we've also provided an area snapshot, so you can just take a quick peek at the top three locations in the area, which is a great way to add actually added value to the property location. Um, and of course, testimonials. Testimonials are an amazing way to draw people into the way that you do business and what it's like to work with you. But you can also use this slide as a rundown of what it's like to live in the area. So if your clients who are selling the property have a story that they want to tell about living in the area, this is a great, this is the, space, the place where you would put it in. So you could have a, a story set where there's six slides and you're talking about the area, the listing, um, you add a quotable, and then you add one of these slides where it's talking from the client's point of view of what it's like to live in this amazing area. It's just a great way to tell a story rather than just posting a just listed. And when you're happy with everything, you are going to hit this download button. Make sure that PNG is selected and you're going to hit download. And once that's finished downloading, it'll be in a zip file. You unzip the file and then you're going to have 10 image files that you send to yourself any way that you normally send yourself images to post on Instagram. So whether that be iDrive or sorry, Google Drive, AirDrop or Dropbox or even just emailing them to yourself and then downloading them onto your phone. However you normally send yourself images to post on Instagram is going to be the what you want to do this time. And then you're ready to post on Instagram. I hope that that was a helpful walkthrough. And if you have any more questions or need any more help, please visit 4thstreetcreative.com forward slash tutorials for a full list of our resources, articles, and walkthroughs. And uh, happy designing. Ladies and gentlemen.